That's our top story on 1011 Now at 6. Good evening, I'm Kelsey Passold. And I'm Cole Miller. Capital murder cases don't happen all that often in Nebraska, but when they do, the tragedy captures the attention of a shocked public. In the background of many of those cases is an obscure state agency on the brink of losing its funding. 1011 Now's Bailey Bischoff has been digging into the impact and the financial fallout. They're hoping the unicameral will solve this session. Kelsey Cole, the Commission on Public Advocacy is funded through court filing fees, $3 a filing. But with filings dropping over time, so is their bank balance. The chief counsel says if nothing is done, the agency will close. The consequences will be dire. 14,000 people call Saline County home. About 2,000 of them live in Wilbur. The Czech capital of Nebraska and county seat rocked by the murder of 24 year old Sydney Loop in 2017 with two people who lived there Aubrey Trail and Bailey Boswell accused. County Board Commissioner Marvin Cohote says when the news of the murder began to spread his heart first went out to her family then came worry about the costs. Uh, you know you're gonna have a tremendous expense and in this case that expense was multiplied by two. If they can't afford an attorney, as you may well know, the court will appoint someone for them. Any type of This is where the Nebraska Commission on Public Advocacy person. came in. The state agency represents those defendants in complex you criminal know, that, cases, yeah. born out of a crisis in Richardson County, when two high-profile murder cases in the 90s drove the county to the brink of bankruptcy. So in 1995, the legislature created the Commission on Public Advocacy, so that we could, uh, our lawyers could go around the state and defend these high profile murder cases. And, and we've been doing that since 1996 at no expense to the counties. The commission's chief counsel, Jeff Pickens and Todd Lancaster took on the Bailey Boswell case, saving the county hundreds of thousands of dollars. So that was really a benefit to our county. They've done the same in 72 counties representing 1500 defendants total. 185 of those murder cases, 13 death row cases. Commission does not receive but whether funding, they'll be able to do able so to in the future is in the hands of the Nebraska unicameral because the commission is running out of money. We're in a crisis. We're still in a crisis. And if we don't get a uh, permanent, uh, permanent uh, funding solution soon, then the office will slowly die by attrition. They've been funded by a $3 court filing fee since the early 2000s, which for a while brought in well over a million dollars a year. Case filings have been going down every year since 2008. So presently our annual revenue is more than a half a million dollars less than it was in 2008. Their bank balance, which used to sit over a million dollars, is now at just over 403,000. Each of those boxes That's before probably payroll, and is only that high because of two $520,000 deposits made by the legislature to keep it afloat over the last few years. The agency hit a low of $15,000 in the bank in 2021. We need revenue. They're calling for one of two bills to pass. One would increase filing fees from three to eight dollars. The second would take 2.1 million from the general fund to pay their expenses and they'd no longer get the fee. The Pickens says while the general fund bill may be more sustainable long term, he just tests. hopes one of them will so pass. We to, if we don't get a, a permanent funding solution, then as time goes on and lawyers retire or move on to, to other jobs, then we just won't be able to replace them and we won't be able to provide the services that we've provided in the past. And of course, if we can't provide the services, then we can't provide property tax relief. If they can't provide property tax relief, the Nebraska Association of County Officials says counties will suffer. How big of a loss would that be? Huge. I, I think that that's probably the best explanation. I think it would put us back into similar position of um, what occurred in Richardson County. It would mean counties like Saline County would be out double what they've already had to pay for Aubrey Trails defense, which is at $320,000 and counting. I would say it'll easily hit 350. They say that alone is more than the budget for many county departments and their rainy day fund wouldn't be able to support it. We'd had to increase property tax, yes we would have. Adding financial burden. 
on what already was a heartbreaking chapter in Wilbur's history. Neither bill has been voted out of the Appropriations Committee. I touched base with Jeff Pickens about that lack of action and slow moving legislature. He says he is really concerned about whether or not they'll have time to pass a solution. And if it doesn't happen, they may have to cut two of their lawyers by the end of the year.